Ed, Ed is really interesting. I don't know if you guys have been following Momochi's Ed. Momochi right now is rank one with 2,386 MR with Ed. I mean, I don't think Ed is super strong. I don't think he's the best character. For reference, Hibiki has been rank one with Lily many times, right? And Lily is not one of the strongest characters. I think Ed is good. Like he's in, he's probably somewhere in the middle. Ed's mid range is very good. The big thing for him is that his drive gauge trip is good with level two on hit, and his meter build with it is very high. He gets consistent Oki off of everything without spending drive rush, which I think is very important. Maybe we should just go watch Momochi's VOD, but we can also just watch this. These two are fighting for rank one, but Momochi is rank one now. And the big things for me that make Ed fun to watch is he has interesting combo routing. He preserves a lot of drive gauge naturally and how he combos, I think. He doesn't have to spend drive gauge on a lot of his hits uh, to convert to get Oki off them. So that's pretty nice. Like he can just not have to do it. Nice anti-air. Man, I'm surprised that made it. So like when you watch him get knockdowns, he doesn't have to worry about it. He tried to bail there, but he just wasn't fast enough. Move it. Mm hmm Forward Heavy Punch also really, really good poke. It got smoked there, but it's a really solid move. His biggest problem is weak jabs up close and then kind of slow anti-air. The big thing, though, is that if you're ready for his anti-air, he gets a juggle off of it, which is unique. He also smokes people's drive gauge really well, too, because his uh, fireball game is good at it, and then he also has... He's so dead. He also has level two for it, and he has psycho uh, flicker and like other moves to like make you parry in mid range and whiff, or like just strip your drive gauge. Man, speaking of which, Hikaru has like taken so much of Mo Momochi's drive gauge. Look, he gets heavy blitz knockdown to like kill rush in into Oki for nothing. A lot of characters when they get knockdowns, if they want to get meaningful pressure after, they have to drive rush. And not have to, having to spend it is really nice for him actually. It preserves a bar. So like, look at his drive gauge right now, right? If Ed had to drive rush to get offense, Momochi would have been burnt basically, right? If he has to do drive rush here, then he'd be down to half a brick. And then like in this sequence here where Hikar jumps over, like, you know, he, he would have already been burned basically in that sequence, right? So good example of like why being able to preserve the bar is really nice. Damn, he just smoked fireball drive rush. That's also another nice thing to have too. Fireball that's too hitting in neutral. Blitz also does it too, so that's really nice. Look at how much drive gauge he stripped from Hikaru already, by the way. And just by doing fireball, absorb, fireball, absorb, fireball, absorb, and it's like, well. A lot of characters have to spend drive rush to do it. It's not unusual. Ed, Ed not having to spend drive rush is, oh, that's, uh, oh, bad punish though. He could just chip here. Okay, now he can't. He, he had a free chip opportunity there, though. Nice. Good recognition. <clears throat> Not that many characters are, are like that. This is Antagon. I changed the game. It's also it's Steve versus uh, Zafina. I made my Steve customization look like Ed. And I made him Ed from Streets. The new patch looks different. Yeah, haven't you seen the fucking changes, bro? The combos don't work and shit. Like, the game is so different. <clears throat> oh, under. Nice. Dude. This guy is a cheating motherfucker. Did you see that? Fireball. He does drive rush cancel into the slither to go under the next fireball into command grab. I mean, come on, bro. Come on, man. That shit is cool. <clears throat> Nice buffer. Crouching heavy kick is... Yeah, he has a lot of good pokes. One thing I like is that he does a lot of medium kick, medium kick. Like, this is a tar combo, and it has, like, a, it has a heavy finisher at the end. And then also this buffer, too. Crouching medium kick into... What's it called? Uh, EX Blitz. His crouching medium kick and his crouching heavy kick are both really solid moves. Wow. What a block. I'm surprised he didn't parry to negate it. He just, like, straight up blocked it. Like an adult... Yeah, he just does heavy upper. When you're farther away, it makes more sense to do the, the combo like that than, than try to like walk and like micro walk, do some kind of response or something. Wow, nice. That was a good hit confirm. I like the, the round star um, flicker charge and then just go backwards. 
Yeah, make sure to like and sub, guys. This is the replay channel. I don't know what channel it is, but it's somebody. Ooh, he was dead if he was wrong there. Poisoned against Aki, like her combos are gonna really hurt right there. It's like when you start poison, she doesn't have to spend drive rush. She just pops you up with heavy lash and then drive rush, heavy kick, whatever she wants to do after, bubble. This is a little spooky. It's it's actually a winnable round from Emochi. It's kind of hard. Oh. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's minus three there after the follow up from the um, the coward crouch kicks. So, Momochi trying to just take the throw for free. I like to jump back from the car. That was smart. What was that normal? I, it might have been jump light kick. I'd have to look at it again. Oh, nice jump back. I'm s I think Momochi could have been anti at that angle. Speaking of which, activate on block. Yeah, I think a good spend. And now Momochi has to run to not get burnt out. And then he gets burnt out anyway. He should level one. Nice. Double burnout. He actually wins the Fireball Warrior, I think, if they clash, so. That's plus. She is so, so messed up when you're in burnout, by the way. This sequence sucks to deal with. Like, Momochi just blocked it out, but yeah, it feels pretty bad. Man, he spent a lot of drive gauge there. <gasps> no hit confirm in a level three? That was actually, if he did forward heavy bunch level three there, I mean. Uh oh. Yeah, that was guaranteed there, I think. I don't think she had a way to just cancel in time to. Be... Well, his DP is slower, but yeah, I don't think she would have. Uh, that's scary too. If you get hit by that into CA, first of all, the damage is so high, but second of all, um, it stalls your burnout, and then Momoshi's in the corner, like, stuck in burnout. Yeah, it's chilling. I think Momoshi just blocks and he's go. Oh, I guess he had to, right? I guess he was hard committed. With no time on the clock, you might as well. That's the only thing that works, right? Because the super freezes the clock, so. I guess that's the only way. Nice. Important parry, otherwise he's just burnt right there. And here. No juggle at that height, but he can get a juggle off of his light. Oh my, he really didn't make it over that fireball. Notice also Momochi does a lot of... Wow, that's unlucky. Momochi does a lot of uh, standing heavy punch into light flicker. The reason he does that, that's right there, that string, is it's pretty safe on block with pushback. And the other thing about it is that it's, uh, it doesn't have a gap. So if Ed does heavy punch into the other versions of flicker, then... Uh, yeah, he had to spend it there to guarantee the kill, which I think is worth it. Uh, if, he doesn't, if he does any other version, like medium or heavy flicker or whatever, then there's a gap. So by doing a heavy punch into light flicker, it drains a ton of drive gauge and it's pretty safe on block with pushback and it's there's no gap so you can't DI it or like parry or whatever. Yeah, you can't DI it actually. There's no there's the uh, no gap. Which is really nice. Yeah, one of the things about Ed's jab sucks. However, look at his jab has like no pushback. So he can just like stick to you very easily with stuff like that. That is one thing that's pretty good. It sucks in terms of range, but it doesn't push him back very far. I mean, I'm sure he's going to play Ed at Evo Japan. I don't think he would hit rank one in MR and then play some other character. I don't know if she's killing here. I, I think so. She's going to build. Oh, try to reset. I was going to say, maybe if you could have built a bar. Yeah, this is the same Aki player, Hikaru, from Japan. Usually the number one Aki.
This this spot uh, is also really rough against Ed. He's pretty solid against Burnout in general. Mostly because um, like the the flicker block stun, it's like like the X flicker is especially is really annoying to deal with. He's so plus. Oh, nice. Wow, what a pickup. He had so much height there. Mm hmm. I think that was good of Hikaru to force the burn out there. Wow. <gasps> Momochi maybe could have punished there, but he just kind of ran away. I think the burnout probably. F nice. Dude, he anti air. What? Oh, that's going to get stuffed. He did anti air driver jab in a medium? Like, what the hell was that? Nah, it's, this is probably a different set. They played a few times. Maybe they just picked the most exciting matches. I don't know. They played a few times, though. I wonder what the second hit of medium kick, medium kick tar combo is on block. Yeah, but what the, their point is that the MR was higher earlier, right? The MR was, um, what's it called? The MR was like 2070. Minus six? Wow, that's pretty safe. Minus six with that much pushback is pretty hard to punish. This is someone's overlay. This is a replay. Yeah, I think it was too far to combo there. Wow. Wow, I reach too. Sometimes that super whips. He should be dead, right? That's a rough way to go. Man, that bubble is also a really nice cancel. There's a gap. Uh, from jab jab into it so you can catch people mashing and stuff. It's also minus four Which means it's it's safe because it has so much pushback I'm telling you, it is so nice for Ed to get pressure without having to spend any drive gauge like that. It just means that he has he has a uh, gauge to do EX flicker and like drive rush pressure more frequently because of it. Got him. Nice. And he gets the pickup. Having poison mid screen for her makes these extensions so much better. And this is really brutal. Mm hmm. Set the puddle. Yeah, I mean, in this matchup, like the characters both have fireball drive rush uh, as a useful tool, but you also notice how often both of them use it for positioning to do something new. Like, very often. Momochi is doing like drive rush uh, flicker to like check her from far and stuff. And you notice how often Hikaru is using it for positioning to anti air, right? Like drive rush is a tool that's useful for both of those, you know? Like Ed doesn't have to spend drive rush to get Oki like most characters. So instead he can spend his, his gauge on other stuff, which is fun. It's like a, it's a fun thing to think about. Because I think people, they think about the drive gauge as like, my drive gauge is six bricks of drive rush jab or drive, you know what I mean? Like drive rush, whatever, right? But I think that's what makes these characters fun is they both use it in, in interesting ways. Pop. Yeah, low four drive rush. Neither of these characters are really doing that that often. And this example I thought was so funny. Like Momochi's in training mode. He's just doing a bunch of stuff with Ed, right? And I was like, you know, wonder what his level two setups are. And he's trying a level two setup here. He has to manually delay the super by a certain amount of frame. So when you look at the frame counter here, notice that before he does the super, this guy Momochi is in training mode, like, okay, pushes up glasses. 
I must manually delay this Ed Super by like seven frames or eight frames or whatever the frame amount is so that he can get the proper juggle on this and then do this combo. You see this? He's not using it. There is no frame kill here. No. He's just manually leaving. This this black gap here is like a delay in the frames. And this is too small, I think. So this is probably not going to work. Yeah, you see how he resets? This is sick. It makes you appreciate even more. I don't know if you guys have seen. But Momochi is number one in MR. And I think he's passed the highest MR that anybody else has ever hit. He, he passed Cockadoo's record. I didn't know exactly how this worked. And if I didn't see him in training mode with this this like frame meter, I don't, like, I don't think I would have understood exactly how he did this. I would have had to like come to the conclusion myself somehow, you know, that he was manually inserting a delay in the combo to do this, which is cool. This is a great example of a way that hard execution can still exist in modern games. The whiff jab super one that you guys have probably seen as well. That's also frame perfect. It's difficult to do whiff standing jab into frame perfect super during the recovery frame of a jab. It turns out like he, he messes with a few variations of this too. Like this one is. He does DI and then he steps back and hits heavy punch. I'm assuming for spacing. Like I'm assuming this doesn't work if he just does heavy punch into like EX flicker right away. Like there yeah, I think it's cool. I think part of why Momochi probably likes this character so much, if I had to guess, because I don't speak Japanese and I haven't asked them, is for these kinds of setups, right? Like having the execution exist in this character where he manually delays the timing on this. Like this is probably something he enjoys doing a lot. And I mean he's sitting here grinding it in training mode and like I'm sure he's having a lot of fun doing this. This is like a fun execution test for him. And how often do you see like brand new JP setups on Twitter still or like optimizations for Jury Feng Shui or Blanca level two, right? Or Rashid. Rashid took a long time for people to figure out. We never saw Guile players start to do like mid screen boom, punish counter. Oh, it's punish counter boom, drive rush, jab, like heavy punch, like stuff like that. Knuckle Dude was the first one I saw do it a lot. And then now I'm seeing it more and more and more often where people are like, optimizing boom spacing where you like see it and you're like oh cool i'm gonna like drive rush from this range and do this cool combo and do all this cool stuff people are like finding these things and optimizing them into their regular play way more often and guile's been in the game since like the beta the way people talk about this game particularly fans of the game people who play it are like so dismissive of like whatever hard aspects of the game has they end up making the game sound like it's easy and boring and solved when in reality there's lots of cool things occurring for it even interesting things that i saw that i thought were cool with marissa recently like big bird tweeted some matchup thing about cami that i thought was like a really smart adjustment that i haven't really seen a lot of marissa players doing and i was like oh that makes sense i bet you everybody's gonna start doing that that seems good 2407 is a lot this is a fuck ton of points number one na player um the geef and then JB. That's right. JB was really high up there too. Part of the reason why this MR gap is so big is because the highest MR here is just lower. There's like a bigger concentration of players in Japan. So like if all these players are in 22, 2300 or whatever, then like when you queue up, it's far more likely for you to run into somebody closer to your MR. So it's like you can actually climb. If you've ever watched like players in North America or Europe or something playing, they're like legend rank and fighting people who are not even master or like fighting people who are like 1600 MR, you don't gain any points. So there was something like Broski the other day said that I won like six sets and got no points and then lost like one game or something and I'm down for the day. Dude, Momochi just queues ranked. He hasn't played at all. He's live for 10 minutes. He checks the leaderboards and he's like, wow, I'm number one right now at 2386 he's trying to get to 2400 mr in the stream that's what it says in the title right so he's like damn daigo's number two i'm about to hit 2400 mr all right guys like you know be right back and then i'll queue up for some ranked grabs a drink first opponent daigo the beast this is what i'm saying when you queue up here if you're legend rank you run into people who are like 1200 mr 13 14 15 1600 mr you know it's who's in your matchmaking pool they're close to you whatever but in japan everybody's fucking right next to each other so you just <laughs> You just pull up and it's rank one versus rank two and you're like, oh word. And then this is how you get the points. I'm down to watch some Momochi. Momochi is the go. I love watching him play. He's he's one of the best Street Fighter players to watch in every game. Cause he's like the most like slow, like just walk you down, play defensive. Oh, he was so right. He perfect parried and then jumped for the next fireball and he couldn't make it. Like he's a very slow and steady kind of player and his footsies are just like, yeah, he's unreal. Nice. That is a pretty specific call out that you know that they're going to cancel Jinrai there. Meaty Fireball. 
if you guys don't know anything about ed maybe i'll give it i'll give it to you from the start because i'm sure a lot of you have probably seen some ed but maybe you don't know a ton about the character um but one thing about him that's very important is uh his, his routing is, is pretty interesting he has a lot of interesting decisions to be made in routing and his BD fireball is really easy to make plus. So a lot of his knockdowns, he can whiff, crouching jab, and do meaty fireball. And it's like plus four, plus six, plus a lot. You can make it really plus really easily. And uh, you can make it plus enough that his 10 frame standing heavy punch frame traps jabs off some knockdowns. And other knockdowns, you have to use medium punch. But like it's very easy to set up meaty fireball with him. And that is a really strong thing to have because of a couple of reasons. And one of the big reasons is that... Um, what's it called it beats level one supers automatically so like as you can imagine that is really nice uh also one thing to note here in the corner this setup this meaty snatcher is di safe you actually can't di this momochi could have di'd back here and then killed him he just missed the di but yeah this is di safe so that setup is real it's very good um for that reason oh he could have punished there with the uh, crouching light kick Walk under, punish the landing frames, double drive rush. He's going to have to level two, I think, to kill, right? One? Is that enough? Oh, my. I can't believe that killed. One important thing about this matchup, too, is that I think Ed, in general, is pretty good at fighting characters like Ken in mid-range with his standing medium kick. He's pretty good at poking against crouching medium kicks, I think. And his standing medium kick is really good at that. So characters, I mean, that's a great example, right? Characters who hit that kind of a button against them, he's really good at poking against that style of character. Um, and you, you saw it there. He should super to try to burn him out here. Yeah, because standing medium kick hits downwards. And because it hits it's hits in such a downward angle, um, it's very easy to to snipe like low pokes like that with it. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah, we're watching on Twitch. This is a Twitch VOD. That angle is also not easy for Ed to anti air. His, his DP is, um, it's really unique. It has some strengths and weaknesses. It, it gets a juggle off of it, which is really nice. Being able to juggle off of a DP and uh, get better, like a better mix up or, or pressure after is really good. But it also is so slow that cross cutting with it is like kind of bad, honestly. So you can't really just like do that. Wow, did you see that? He stepped forward and through there. Did you see what he just did? Ah, this motherfucker. Daigo does drive rush and then jab, and he wants to walk back and bait the throw. So Momochi just holds forward and throws him out of it, knowing that the walk back is coming. Oh, this is big. Yeah. Dump the meter. Getting getting a punish counter snatcher in mid screen is huge reward. I mean, obviously he has level three here, so it's really, really big, but like that is huge reward for landing that. He's also really good at baiting stuff like that. Like his fake fireball and his standing jab are really good to bait responses. Because he can just do fireball and then not throw it. And then he's chilling. Uh, which is really nice. Uh, it, one thing though is that Ed's low threats are kind of bad, honestly. Uh, his crouching medium punch is like his only thing, really. And you have to kind of like commit to drive rush to make it scary, honestly. Like without that, it's not that scary. So, oh, baited. So much for your 2400 MR, buddy. <laughs> Honestly, though, losing to Daigo, he doesn't lose that much, so it's probably not the end of the world. Like, he kind of has to commit, though, to whatever it's called. And again, one thing I, I mention constantly about this character, it's very important, is that because he doesn't need a drive rush to get Oki, he is really good at hits like this. So, like, he gets to do knockdown DP, kill rush in, and then, like, whatever pressure he wants to do or whatever, right? So, by not having to spend drive rush on that... It allows his meter gain to come back faster because he doesn't spend the drive rush. And like, obviously, if you spend resources, right? If you spend drive gauge, your drive gauge will. It takes a while before it starts to come back, and um, that's really nice for him. Yeah, he called out the walk back there with crouching medium punch. Like being able to kill rush in and then do this kind of a meaty into pressure. Like, look at how much drive gauge Momochi has. He still has not spent any drive gauge to do offense. Right? This is the benefit of this. And I, I bring it up because think about how many characters in the game, when they knock you down, they do drive rush into button or drive rush into whatever to like get their pressure, right? Whereas here, he does knock down. He gets counter hit, knock down again, kill rush in again, go for meaty pressure. And then now he's full drive gauge after two Oki sequences and he hasn't spent any. So like, 
I mean, he's chilling, right? Like he, he really does not have to spend his resources to do this, right? So it's, this is a really, really beneficial thing for this character. Nice punish. Wow, that's good knowledge. Knowing that the recovery time was that long there. I mean, honestly, I, I don't, I think Ed probably needs buffs more than he needs nerves. He should double two, right? But like he needs a few, I would guess. Nothing like super major, but there's probably a few quality of life things he could get. But Momochi being literally number one MR probably kills any hope of that happening. Nice check. Like, I don't think he's a top tier character. I think he's solid though. Wow, what a confirm. Are you fucking serious? The fireball counter hit there. And then Momochi is just like, oh, word, counter hit fireball, standing heavy punch, EX snatcher. Dude, this guy is real good. You know that? Oh, the whiff jab level two setup. Whoa, is that the combo? Oh my, oh my. Help, did you see how much resources he just built? This combo is cool. So he spends two drive and his entire drive gauge fills back up. He even drops the ender, but look at this. It's, it's, he, he would be gaining even more drive gauge. He probably built about three total bars after spending two. So your drive gauge positive after the end of that combo. You see that? And he has another bar basically here, right? So he has level one to kill Daigo if he hits him. This is something I think is very smart about Ed as well. Something you can do in the corner that's like really messed up. And I think... Characters who can manipulate parry like this are really powerful, which is when you hold this snatcher, a lot of people will tap parry and then you can just sit there and let them hold parry and like just hold the snatcher for a while while they're holding parry and then their parry just like won't work, you know, because like, you know, you're just holding the thing and then you can let them let go of parry and then during their recovery frames, then do the snatcher. You got a little lucky there. You'll take it though. So that is very good. All right. Perry, what Perry does on Snatcher is you don't get pulled in as far towards him. Which is pretty nice. He he tried to hold up back there. He does that a lot actually. He he does up back into like um I think it's jump back light kick or whatever it is. He has he has a jump button, one of his kicks that goes straight down. Maybe it's heavy kick. One of his kicks goes straight up and then one of them goes like straight horizontal. I think that's medium kick and then heavy kick is the other one. They they have three different angles. Yeah, see, it's hard for him to anti-air that kind of an angle. Ed's not really the best at that. Oh, baited. Yeah, he just took the safe jump ender. Oh, no. That's the scary thing, too, though. His his normals, the, the jabs, uh, the flicker jabs, which are, like, all his kicks, they do have a pretty extended hurt box on them, so it's pretty easy for them to get caught by stuff. Stuff like that right there, even that driver's jab. Nice. Oh my god. He can burn him out, right? Is he gonna? Or is he just gonna spend a level two? Oh, he's gonna spend level three. He kills him. Perfect parry there is the only thing that gets this kill, too. Because if he just does regular parry, then, like, obviously, you know, he doesn't get this combo. Good recognition that he was gonna build a level three there, by the way. I didn't think he was gonna have that much meter. Yeah, the, the jab, uh, Flicker pulls you into literally point blank, right? Um, so he always gets like jab, 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 because he's he's actually just right on top of you. Any further than that, he doesn't really get it. And I think they designed around the jab because they were kind of worried that uh, like he, his jabs were going to be too annoying. Maybe they worried about driver's jab also. Because I think the fear was if Ed's driver's jab is too good, then he has incredible mid range. And then he has driver's jab is like a scary threat on top of it, right? So like not only does he have like the good poke control, but then he has driver's jab to initiate. I think they were worried his mid-range would be too dominant. But it ended up making his jabs like feel pretty bad, I think. Uh... They're really good for pressure, but they don't feel very good for poking back, which obviously Momochi, he, he manages without it, but I think for a mortal human is definitely hard. Man, his defense, though. I mean, how, dude, Momochi just not getting hit there in each scramble against Ken is not easy to do. Nice. And he got heavy. Wow, he did heavy DP. That's a slow one. 
That's a save check on block. Crouching light kick into the EX Blitz. Okay, he's just going to level 2 route here probably, right? No, just takes the knockdown. The scary thing is, is that uh, as soon as Momochi gets a hit here, level 2 is going to strip a lot of damage. And he could he build level 3 really fast here too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not dead. Oh my god. Does he just do the level 2 in neutral? I, I guess probably not. He's just going to buffer level 3 in case he throws a fireball is my guess. Man, he jumps back. He does that in neutral a lot. I actually notice he does a lot of jump back with this character. He's also pretty good in the fireball war, honestly. I don't probably not against a character like Guile or something, but like in a lot of matchups, he, he's pretty solid in the fireball war. Oh, I love the no cancel. That was so good. Doing heavy punch, no cancel there in case he counter DI'd and then going in. Damn. There was no time, yeah. That honestly, perfect parry there was like the best thing too. Like that was like the the only thing that would have gotten him a kill. The Ed Mirror. I'm gonna watch a little bit more. Yeah, he is getting hyped. I mean, he's trying to hit 2400 MR in this, right? He has a lot of good drive rush fakes too. Uh, oh, that didn't wasn't the right hype for the the juggle. But like his drive rush fakes are really good because he can do drive rush into flicker, and then if you try to check a drive rush and he does flicker and it punish counters you, then he gets a full ass combo. Safe jump. I mean, this round's looking like a wash. I can't lie. Sasamo is also playing this character, huh? A lot of people have tried Ed when he came out, so I'm not surprised. Damn, he he lost so much drive gauge from Emochi doing nothing there. Yeah, Emochi's a beast, man. He is so good. A nice walk back. Too bad he didn't have level uh, 2 there. He really likes... Um... Oh, he tried to check and he was a little late. Uh-oh. His drive gauge. Uh-oh. He really likes mini crouching medium kick, which is pretty good because on counter he gets a juggle. This combo, though, that's something cool, too. Ed gets such cool juggles. One thing that he's, he does more than uh, almost anything is just take the drive gauge damage. He does jump in, heavy punch, and then he does light flicker. This is uh, frame tight, heavy punch into light flicker. It's just true block string, and it just strips a bunch of drive gauge, and it's safe on block. Um, at range, I should say, because it's not safe on block without being far. He could have killed there, maybe, with the right confront. Wow. That's what I meant about getting a juggle off his DP, by the way. It doesn't have the best start of, but obviously you can juggle after, which is pretty nice because you can do things like that into, like, Blitz into level 3. So, Yeah, it's minus 6, the Light Snatcher. Uh, but at, at that range, it's like, you know, most characters in the game can't punish. There's not going to be, like, a punish from that far, so you're chilling. And look at that. Man, I'm telling you, being able to consistently get Oki without spending Drive Gauge is so nice. It just means that you are always able to have full resources for EX Snatcher or Drive Rush Confirms or whatever you want to do. Like, not having to spend the Gauge is really good, IMO. Because he just, he just has it for stuff like this. Same situation as last time. He just walked back after the Perfect Parry. Double drive rush, boom, boom. Uppercut. Yeah, he doesn't have an overhead. Uh, he has no overhead mix, but it, 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 he makes up for it with like lots of other good things. Like that buffer is also really good. But he, he makes up for for lots of other like annoying things in mid range and like good pressure. And he's really good at stripping your drive gauge as well. Yeah, I think Ed is one of the coolest designs in the game. In fact, he might be like the coolest. They they did really well with this character. He has so much fun stuff about him. I think he's one of the the most interesting designs in the game. He's he's really difficult to play well. He has oh he could have killed him there. He has lots of really hard execution. I think he tried to level through that. He has lots of really hard execution. He has lots of cool juggles. He has lots of interesting decisions to make in neutral. His buttons are very specifically designed to do different things. What a bendy pencil. Like, crouching medium kick will not hit crouching characters very easily, as an example, right? And, um... What's it called? Standing medium kick is, like, your anti-crouching character button. So, like, if you think someone's going to hit a crouching move... Yeah. Nice reaction. That was good. Uh, so if you think someone's going to hit a crouching normal, you hit standing medium kick. If you think someone's going to hit, uh... 
hits something standing, then crouching medium kick hits them. So you have to think about the op normals your opponent's doing, which is fun. It's interesting. His like all his buttons are are really cool like that. He has to be very thoughtful. Yeah, uh, forward heavy punch is good. You you get uh, good damage if it if it's um, punish counter or if it's oh you try to walk under. You get good damage on punish counter and you get good damage from it on uh, wow that combo though level one. Oh, I think a route into level one might have killed. That was a. Si Did you see that confirm though? Wait, Sasimo's kind of cooking. Let him cook. His DJ was really good too. He does. Heavy flicker from that far and a medium punch. I wonder if level one instead of the ender, it probably wouldn't have killed. Yeah, his standing heavy kick is cool too because it whiffs on crouch, but you can do safe jumps into it and then force it to hit crouching characters, which is also really cool. But you know, even even a confirm like that in the corner, part of why Ed can do stuff like that often is that he he has um he has so much drive gauge all the time because he just doesn't spend it very, very often. Oh, no anti here though. Good thing he will get the, his chat is all minus 14. <laughs> Imagine losing to someone who's 2100 MR, 175th in the world and losing 14. I wonder how much he gets if he beats him. Oh, he tried to DP there, and he got jab instead. Look at how much drive gauge Momochi strips, man. I that's one thing that Ed is really good at. I think he's he's really really good at taking your drive gauge for free. He does it so easily. He just hits heavy punch and a light snatcher or whatever in neutral, and you just constantly lose so much gauge. Nice confirm from uh, Sasimo, by the way. You see that? He does. Uh, what's it called? He does crouching medium punch, sees that he's standing, and hit confirms into heavy kick. Heavy kick does not hit crouching characters, right? So when you're drive rush confirming, you need to see if your opponent is standing or not for that to work, which is cool. What's the occasion for watching Momochi Ed? He hit rank one, and also he's just fun to watch. Yeah, he, he kind of had to spend there. His drive gauge is pretty bad. I think he was afraid that if he didn't spend and then he got like thrown or perfect parried, he was going to get burnt out and die. I thought he put up Maybe we should be watching Sosmo instead. Sosmo is really good too. His DJ, I'm sure a lot of you have seen his DJ before, right? He's really good. Elo calculator says plus 3.5 points. Ugh. Yeah, the highest MR before this. Oh, that was unsafe. He didn't get the punish. The highest MR before today when Momochi hit this was Kakadu making it to 2401, right? He was the highest ever, and then Momochi broke the record by hitting 2407, I think it is. The thing is, that record will never be broken by someone who doesn't live in Japan, basically. Oh, I wonder if it was the actor frames on that just hit too late. And the reason, or in Asia in general, the reason is there's too many high MMR players there. Nice. Oh my god. That was sick. During the drive rush, he buffered the super and saw the fireball start up. Oh, he's dead. No, he lived. Oh, my. Chance. Oh, my. This is the second person we've seen Momochi do that to. Build the critical art. Oh, my. Sasmo also has no meter, by the way. And he's burnt. Oh, my God. Look at you know Momochi's feeling himself. He got three. Wait, he won three for that. Lose minus 14. Win plus three. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, this match, dude, he fought he's fighting a modern diamond cami. That's funny. But this doesn't give him any MR, right? That is pretty fun. We were talking about this earlier about other people having this happen to them. Bada bada ba. See, getting a juggle like that into a safe jump is really nice. She DPs here, but look at how much drive gauge she loses uh, from this sequence on block. It's it's actually quite a bit, right? So juggle, look at her drive gauge. She has half a brick missing. It's boom, heavy punch, heavy kick. 
she loses a full brick from just the, the the safe jump here and then the medium punch she hits after is a frame trap so she would have lost drive gauge from that anyway so pretty cool like it's it's pretty it's pretty cool how much drive gauge she gets to take just from that oh he walked under i think you kind of have to honestly if you're ed his dp is a little slow it's hard it's hard to challenge stuff like that Yeah, it is really fun. Like, imagine being Diamond and being like, all right, guys, today's the day. I'm, like, climbing up. I'm, I'm Diamond 5 now. I'm going to make it to, uh, to what's it called. I'm going to make it to Master. No problem, guys. Nice. I think that's the right combo there. I don't think level 1 would have killed. Bomb, bomb. He gets no points here. Right? Okay, so this doesn't matter for MR. So we can we can go to oh the person left. I don't blame him. Oh, he's fighting Daigo again. They know. I mean, he knows it's Daigo. His whole chat knows. As soon as you see that outfit, you know it's Daigo or Tokido, I guess. Right? Tokido also plays that outfit. Hmm. Can I also say? I think that the fact that Ed's combos are medium punch into heavy punch and a far kill rush is way cooler than the medium punch heavy heavy punch target combo one. When they get when the character came out, people were doing drive rush heavy punch into medium heavy into like short kill rush into medium DP. That's cool, but I think this combo looks cooler. The psycho blitz combo it also does more damage, but yeah, I think it's cooler. No DP. Uh oh, this is real bad. I think you kind of need space as Ed in this matchup. This, this spot is, yeah. Sure, you can jab DP so you get the better setup. Dead. <clears throat> he DP'd the first knockdown against Daigo last time, too, actually, now that I think about it. Will he do it again here? No. Oh, he got a level 2. DP, forward heavy punch, DP. I wonder why last time he got the kill rush combo. Was it the corner? It's a lot of drive gauge damage too. It's also safe. Ah, he missed DP. He got lucky. <laughs> yeah, good players are, like when you watch top level players, the, the amount that they stuff drive rush in neutral is very high compared to a lot of other levels. To the point where, like, once Drive Rush gets nerfed, because I'm sure it will be, I think people will stuff it way more. Like, I, I think if they nerf it, it will be much, much easier for the best players in the world to stuff. You know, at other levels, obviously, it's going to be different. And the game is balanced different at every level anyway, right? Because, like, you know, some levels of play DI is broken. Some levels of play, uh, what's it called? Like, Drive Rush is just never, literally never getting checked, right? But, like, the more you play the game, the higher level you get, the more you see it. Level 2 again. Yeah, is this, does he get the kill rush combo because he's in the corner? Oh, nice. Safe jump. He just goes empty low. Oh, man. Daigo's stuck. Wait, Help! Wait. Is he going to level 2 again? Level three, that wait, this is a juggle? And he gets meaty fireball after 2. Ugh, what up, can't switch. That combo was tight. Uh oh uh oh oh I whiffed! Wow, I didn't even know it could whiff. I'm I it like never happens almost. Did he get plus three from that? Is that what I saw? No, he got more. He got plus seven, right? Wasn't he at twenty three eighty three? I don't remember. I think he got plus seven. If he was at the same number he was before, then that's what he got. That is a common okay. To give you guys some advice against Ed, maybe against bad Ed players, this is like always gonna work. But good Ed players, just keep this in mind. When they dash forward and do fake fireball, they're almost always just buffering so that they can DP. I, I, the amount of times I've seen Momoji land that, just like against bad Ed players, that will probably work. But against good Ed players, I think they're almost always looking for the jump right away because everybody jumps there. 
And I think if you drive rush, you might end up hitting the fireball. And then he can combo off the fireball if you hit it, so. Yeah, that range is really hard for Ed to end here. Like, you know when Momochi's not doing it, that it's it's hard. He's, he's burnt here. I don't think he has a good way out unless he lands a hit. Boom, boom, boom. This spot, Daigo doesn't even have to DI him, right? He just strings him up. Honestly, I think it's better most of the time when your opponent's in burnout in the corner here. At a super high level to not even DI, it's better to, to just, like, do strings and chip him and take plus frames and, like, don't even worry about it. This is actually, yeah, I was going to say, this is actually pretty hard for Mochi to, to win now that he spent the, the bar. I think spending the bar there was probably incorrect. Just because your chances of winning the round are so bad. Minus one meter. Yeah, we do, we got to hate. <laughs> wow, crouching medium punch. I mean, he probably tried to DP, right? Nice hit confirm. That target combo is hit confirmable, but even if you do two hits, the second hit is min pretty minus, but usually you're doing it far enough away that it's pretty hard for your opponent to punish. That is huge. You can level two him here. Oh, he did the manual delay combo. Oh my god. In the match, he just hits that shit. That He's just him. He just hit that shit, no problem. The, manually delay in. No problem. What a beast. He said like, oh yeah, let me manually delay this super six frames or whatever it is, seven frames. Manually delay the snatcher. Just do this combo. Smoke Daigo's dumb ass real quick. <laughs> He's like, hold up, let me cook. Wow. Nah, come on, bro. Nice. That was a good chase down from Daigo. He was committed to parry, and then when he saw that Momochi did kill rush back, he just forward, forward drive rush. That was good awareness. Yeah, is that a safe jump? Yeah, Ed has a bunch of safe jumps. Uh, his medium flicker, or medium blitz on air hit. Oh, he's going to look at the drive gauge here. Daigo has to drive reversal. Yep. Good recognition from Momochi. Damn, he's fucking chasing his ass down. Oh, my God. This is a ton of chip, by the way. It's plus one on block when you're in burnout as well, which is very annoying. Oh, he's out of burnout. This is what I meant about holding it, by the way, so that you can steal your opponent's parry gauge, basically, right? So obviously Daigo just held the parry there, right? But when you if you see parry, you can just hold this and basically say, like, cool, I'm going to let your parry gauge like drain. If your opponent holds parry the whole time, then they still will lose gauge. But if your opponent lets go early, then you do it on block and then they don't get it, so... He's at two drive gauge here, and Momoshi just says, cool, nice, awesome. Love that drive gauge for you. Who's this? 16th rank MR Manal. That's scary. Nice. That good reach oh, on that. Oh, you're a Sage Am fan now? God damn. Yeah, I'm, I, uh, I'm not familiar with this this player. I don't, I don't think I've seen seen him uh well, actually i probably have seen him play but i don't i don't think i've watched him i don't know if they stream or anything punish nice drive gauge coming back momochi's chilling he's not chilling momochi's fucked this the one thing about this character now is that uh oh my god one thing about this character now is that um her pressure in the corner because of the new drive rush back back medium kick it's like the drive rush back medium kick is a really interesting buff because it's like they didn't buff her drive rush. They just buffed back medium kick. And then now it's like she just, oh, that's punishable. Uh-oh. Uh, she just like gets the momentum off of it anyway. It's probably hard for Ed to anti -air her. Oh, did he, did he get it? Oh, my. Yeah, I was going to say it looks a little weird. He dropped it. Oh, my. That's a huge jump. Yeah, he's chilling. Damn, you really did it there. What a Kovac. Minus three meter. Oh, he's 2400 now. He's he's one MR ahead of uh, Kakadu, but he rematches anyway because he's a beast. See what I mean about holding it there? It's a really common thing that's uh, super good with that, I think. Oh, he missed the meaty. 
Help! He's holding up. Help! Okay. I see, you see at that far jump range, he's struggling to like anti-air her. He doesn't have something good to do at that range. His DP is so slow. Uh-oh. Both in burnout. Oh, he woke up Snatcher. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, man. All right, he's, he is, you know, just no fear. He's just like, why not? Oh, fuck. No, he could have he could have done reversal button and been fine there, but instead he was committed to the DP already. Nice hit confirm. Oh my god, he's holding up. He didn't want to level one, but he doesn't need it. Hey, that's got the wall. Someone in the it is chat's like talk about hitting twenty five hundred. If he hits twenty five hundred. He's actually the GOAT. Oh my god. Oh my god. Things are not looking good. Okay, okay, okay. What makes the DP being slow bad? It, what it means is that walk-up DP is hard to do at ranges like that because your DP is so slow, you have to be in the right spot from the start or you can't DP the jump, if that makes sense, right? So... Basically, because of the speed of it, it prevents him from doing stuff that normal characters would do, like walk in DP. It's just so slow. Oh, he's dead. Did he not even know he was at 2407? <laughs> That's it. He didn't even know that. He just said, I'm like, oh, I'm at 2407. Does he just stop? But he must stop playing right there, right? Yeah, he's just in training mode the rest of the stream. <laughs> oh, man. He did beat the game. This is actually winning streets. This is like achievement unlocked. One Street Fighter. Yeah, the only other person that's hit 2400 is Kakadu. Kakadu got to 2401 with JP. And then Momochi's at 2407. Which is pretty impressive. He was locked the fuck in, though. Ed is such an interesting character, you know? Like, he's they did a good job making that character really fun. Pretty impressive stuff to make. A character who was, like, I think really boring in the last game. Really interesting in this game. He was very basic, and then they did the opposite in this game. They made him one of the most complex characters in the game. This is hard to beat. I heard that Satoru Rashid is, like, a 17-year-old high school kid. It begin. Honestly, it's pretty important that Street Fighter is laying the groundwork for the game to be cool to like these VTubers and like these like big streamers in Japan who don't play fighting games because they have a big problem with generating new young players in the sense that like young people don't care about fighting games there. Uh, whereas here, like not everybody, right? But it is not that uncommon for there to be lots of young players like up and coming in the US for lots of different fighting games. It's kind of the opposite in Japan. Like they, they're struggling to like get young people to care about fighting games all. I mean, there's gonna be somebody like X amount of years from now, five years in, from now, 10 years from now, maybe even less, maybe like two, three, four years from now. There'll be someone who's like, yeah, I got into fighting games cause like my streamer played in crazy raccoon cup or whatever. And like they'll, they'll like be in top eight of a major or top eight of like Capcom Cup or something, Top 8 of Evo, which is, it's cool. It's how you break down the barrier and like get people interested in it because you just see them play it and you're like, wait a minute, this game actually looks kind of fun. And then you get people involved. I forgot how much I love watching Momochi play Street Fighter. You'd probably see it more if there was more competition offline. Yeah, I feel. When he's live playing Ed, I've been watching him a lot. He makes me want to play the character, which is what makes me mad. Like he he's influencing, I'm being influenced.